Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And in this video, we are taking a deep dive into everything new in the Photos app and the Cameras app as part of iOS 14. So let's go ahead and dive into everything new in these two amazing apps, starting with the camera app itself. Now, if you were to long hold or 3D touch the icon there on your home screen, you'll notice there are several glyphs next to those options. The top two in particular have been updated this time around to that square shape and uh, outlined camera icon. If we go into the camera settings, we're going to notice a bunch of changes here. If we go into preserve settings, there's an option to toggle on exposure adjustments. Every time you launch the app, your exposure adjustment will be saved and preserved every time that you launch. Going down, we see that grid has been moved down into the composition grouping. So that's a new toggle there, just a moved toggle. And then we have view outside the frame. This previously was broken into photo and videos. Now this is just one toggle for the both of them. It was a newer feature with the latest iPhone. We also have a new option for photo capture to prioritize faster shooting. It reduces quality just a little bit, but it makes it shoot a whole lot faster. A few other changes this time around. You notice back here towards the top, we have an option to use the volume up button for burst capture. So we're going to demo that here in a moment, but that volume up button will now capture burst photos. And there's also a new toggle to mirror the front camera. So that way it mirrors the image automatically once you snap a selfie. So let's go ahead and jump into the camera app itself and take a look at all these changes, uh, some that we just talked about and some other new ones. For example, the app itself is a whole lot faster. It is actually now up to 90% faster when it launches and it can capture up to four shots in a single second. And the time to first shot has been increased to 25% faster and the first time to capture a portrait shot is 15% faster. As a small UI change that Chevron there at the top that is used to open up the kind of the settings tray for the photos has been updated, looks a little bit smaller, sleeker than it was in the past. Now, speaking of that kind of setting drawer that we have, there are a few changes going on there. And the biggest one that I was really excited for was a new option for exposure compensation. It's a little plus and minus button inside of a circle. If you go ahead and tap on that, it allows you to manually adjust the exposure in the image. So you can lighten things up a little bit or darken things down. And while that slider itself is is great it gets even better because there's a live monitor up in that left hand corner so you can see as we adjust it that monitor is adjusting in real time to let you know how much you've adjusted that exposure and once you go ahead and lock that in you'll notice it still says that tap on that meter and it'll take you right back to that exposure adjustment to crank it up or crank it down and as we looked at in settings you can preserve that setting so every time you launch the app it stays there now looking at night mode, night mode is an amazing feature and it gets better with iOS 14. The biggest change you're going to notice here is this new stabilization option. So as you go ahead and take a shot, there's a new guide that appears in the middle of the photo or the screen to help you keep that uh, camera, your phone as stable as possible to result in better photos. We did talk about this one already, which is that the volume up button can now capture burst photos. Simply pressing and holding on the volume up button will start to capture all those burst shots. Now there's a new feature for the lower button as well. Volume down will now start a quick take video. So hold it and you're going to jump into video mode or press it once and it's going to snap a photo. Older devices are continuing to get new features and support here with iOS 14. So before you could change your video resolutions in the app, but that has been updated to now work with all devices that support iOS 14. So you notice on the top right hand corner, we have those HD and the frames per second. So HD or 4K, 24, 30 or 60. You also notice a new light up there, status light of whether or not it's accessing the video or the microphone, just kind of a, it's pretty obvious you're in a camera app, you can see that it's live, but just in general, that's been updated throughout the OS and any third party app. Apps. Now, if we peek into the Photos app, there are a bunch of changes here as well that we want to talk about. The first one is kind of a change to iOS in general, which is the new widget view. So we tap on our home screen or hold on our home screen, tap on that plus button and scroll down. We have new widgets for photos that can be planted right on your home screen. There are small, medium and large configurations. Just plop that down right there and it's going to give you different memories and moments that you may want to see. It's really cool. It is also part of the smart stack option as well. If you want to jump in that way, just tap it. It takes you right to that memory inside of the Photos app. I love these new widgets. It's a very cool thing. 
Now, navigation the app has been streamlined. It is so fluid and smooth being able to kind of zoom in and out. We saw this before on the Mac, and now it's coming to the iPhone. It is just gorgeous the way you're able to zoom in and out across all these photos, going between all photos, days, months, and years. In general, we weren't huge fans of kind of the card-based system that Apple was using before, and this is much more on par with what we're seeing on the iPad as well as on the Mac. So just overall, we're really liking how the new interface works. It feels much more smooth, and the fluidity is absolutely outstanding. Now, if you'll notice we have that ellipsis in that top right hand corner, if we go ahead and tap on that, we see we have a new action menu. We had that before, but there's a lot more uh, or many more options than we had in the past. For example, there's zoom in and zoom out to that grid in general. We can change the aspect ratio of that grid to what the photos are versus kind of the square option that makes everything just kind of fit together all nice and neat. And then filter is a new option as well. We open up this, you can see we can uh, filter all of our photos by our favorites, our edited, photos and videos and you can choose any mix of these that you want to see so if you want to see your favorite photos which in this case we had no photos that were favorited so let's go ahead and favorite one real quick and we can show you that it actually does in fact work but we jump on and put photos and favorites boom you can do favorite uh, videos or just your edited shots like there's a lot of options you have there in filtering and the albums can also be filtered as well albums can also be sorted whether you're looking for the newest or the oldest first if we go ahead and jump into a photo, you'll notice we can now zoom in way farther than we ever could in the past. Look at these peppers, how close we can get to that sticker on the pepper. You can read those tiny little numbers, uh, and it's incredible how much more you can zoom in. So we've been long awaiting that feature, uh, such a small thing, but we are very happy to see it. Photos now support captions, and these are incredible. These sync across all your iCloud devices, so we can go ahead and add uh, just peppers, maybe as our caption to this shot. So not only are we adding that to the shot, it syncs it across all of our different devices, and those are even searchable. So if you search inside the app, uh, the photos might already be able to identify these as peppers, but if you had like an event or something else they were labeling there, you could search by any of those keywords. Now we need to look at a video real quick. So if we jump into videos from our filter, choose a video real quick, we can apply a filter to this just like we could with photos Now this has been around but what has changed is the new kind of rendering uh, watermark they put on the video while it's happening it's in this lower left hand corner now which says preparing video rather than like rendering or something it said before and it took up the whole or it said saving video and was right in the middle of the screen so it's much less intrusive now and much more out of the way Memories are one of our favorite features of iOS, and now memories will show more relevant videos and photos, and they've been enhanced with additional music tracks, have better stabilization, and improved framing when alternating between portrait and landscape orientations. We've always found memories to be a great way to kind of catch up on our past photos and really just kind of relive all those experiences instead of just taking photos and never looking at them again. So we're really excited to have more options coming to these memories, uh, makes them more shareable and more usable. Any live photos that you've taken will now be more stable, they'll look more stabilized in that day, month, or year's view from here on out, at least when taken with iOS 14. Photos that have been recently deleted and are in that recently deleted folder, they're now sorted in reverse with the newest additions here at the bottom. It's kind of hard to tell because everything is 29 days here, but the most recently deleted ones are now towards the bottom. Throughout the OS, we have an improved image picker, so whether you are uh, submitting something online or attaching to an email or adding to a note, there is a new image picker that makes it so much easier. I really, really cannot kind of overstate how really nice this new image picker is. It makes it so easy you can search, so if I want to search for those captions that I just added. You can actually search for bell peppers or peppers, which was my caption, and that photo shows up. You can jump through any of the photos there or you can go to albums, see your album, shared albums, any media type, everything that you've got in here. So it makes it really easy to import photos or add photos to notes, emails, messages, whatever you are doing, it's just a much more improved experience. When we're working with third party applications, you can also control how many images they can see. You can actually only allow access to certain photos or entire library altogether. So that is it. There's more than 30 changes across the photos and the camera app for iOS 14. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.